know, for breakfast to be said to be the most essential and important meal of the day, no one eats it after the age of 18. So for the omelet we're gonna make today. Good morning. I am Synastasia, and today I am going to cook for you guys a quarantine breakfast, give you all the recipes of everything we are going to make today. Okay, so today we are making a pancake omelet bacon sandwich and hash brown casserole. Oh, that sounds so good already, I'm so excited. Okay. First things first, I'm the realist. We're gonna wash our hands. Washing your hands is too important now more than ever. Especially if you're cooking for other people in your household, you don't wanna spread germs and bacteria and get anybody sick, especially during the coronavirus because many people can become immune compromised. Just gonna wash your hands for 20 seconds. A, B, C, B, B, F, G. Now, was the ABC song 20 seconds? Who knows? But it was at least a good amount of time to make sure I got all of the bed germs off from the night before. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is our omelet with the ingredients as follows. We've got a really good looking Spanish onion here. And then we've got a good vine tomato and one jalapeno pepper Ooh, yummy also consisting of some baby spinach i'm gonna go ahead and start chopping these up i'm gonna start with the jalapeno and end with the onion because onions make you cry and i'm gonna go ahead and do that while the fresh air comes in so i can prepare myself for the emotional madness that comes with it to chop is our tomato. Chop up some spinach. Okay, chickadees, so we've got a good amount of everything. We've got some chopped up jalapenos, we've got some chopped up tomatoes, chopped up onion and chopped up spinach. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put all these chopped up items in this bowl, mix it up a little bit, and go ahead and start with the eggs. All mixed. Now, next we're gonna start with preparing the omelet. So first things first, um, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the skillet. Um, I would usually, you know, 
use a ceramic skillet. I like ceramic. Um, it's really good. You know, it's non-stick. I mean, what's better than that? And I don't usually use oil for eggs. I've heard that some people do. Cool, but that's not me. Um, so I prefer to use the Pam original cooking spray um, with canola oil. So it already has oil in it. You know, kind of makes sense. So we're just going to go ahead and shake this up and go ahead and spray the skillet. I start in the center and then make sure the entire pan is covered. Okay. Now that the skillet is prepared, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the eggs. So for the omelet we're gonna make today, we're gonna use one egg. Just kidding, we're gonna use two. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these and I'm gonna go ahead and stir them up. veggies and put them spoon by spoon, mix them in with the eggs. on like a medium high heat just to make sure it actually gets started to cook. Just give that a few minutes. And while we are letting the omelet cook, we're gonna go ahead and start on the hash brown casserole. So for all of my cheesy foods, I am a huge fan of Velveeta. I just think Velveeta is very rich and, and cheesy, obviously. But we're gonna go ahead and use these today to make the hash browns. So that the ingredients that you'll need to make the hash brown casserole, you will need one and a half cup of water and one fourth cup of milk and two tablespoons of butter or margarine. I mean, I'm from the South, so I ain't never used margarine on nothing, so. But whatever floats your boat, we go. So we're gonna go ahead and mix the water, milk, butter, and the potatoes mixed together. While we're gonna let this boil, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our omelet and it looks delectable. I'm gonna eat it right now. So usually when I'm making my omelets, like I said, I have it on medium high heat. Um, when it starts to set, I just move around the loose parts. And we're gonna go get some cheese. I like to use mild cheddar cheese on my omelet. You could use anything though. Colby Jack, Monterey cheese, mozzarella, anything like that. Just a preferred favorite of mine. So we're gonna let this set for a few more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and take this baby out. Now that our hash browns are starting to boil, we're gonna go ahead and stir those a tad bit. <laughs> and we just did the matrix. Mix in all the stuff. And it smells great. So exciting. And now that it's reached its boiling point, we are going to turn it to medium high. 
and let it simmer for eight to 10 minutes. I preferably do 10, because I like it crispy. I like my hash brown crispy. And of course, because we are making a pancake sandwich, we have to have, boom, pancakes. We're gonna go ahead and put these babies in the oven. If you have an oven that runs on Fahrenheit, it would be 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And for Celsius oven, it will be 190. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in here and we'll leave them in for eight to 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes for me, just like I said before, because I like things crispy. So our hash browns and pancakes will be done around at the same time in about 10 minutes. So during this time, I guess you just find things to wait and screw off with. Now that our 10 minutes are up, we're gonna go ahead and take the pancakes out of the oven and go ahead and finish with the hash browns. Okay, so we increased the heat on the hash browns. And we're just gonna make sure they're evenly spread. We're gonna go ahead and flip them around. Usually for hash browns, you wanna cook them for two to three minutes on each side. to flip them. And now we're going to remove them from the heat. And last but not least for the hash browns, we'll leave cheese! Okay, so now that the hash browns are done, we're gonna go ahead and finish up our pancake bacon omelet sandwich. We got some good bacon going on here. I would've put it on the other skillet, but the other skillet with the hash browns in it is soaking. So we got the bacon. So with the bacon, I usually have it on medium to cook for. Cook it for about two to three minutes on both sides, because I like it really crispy. I've made that point twice, that I like everything crispy. And then after that, we'll go ahead and make the omelet sandwich and set up the plate. Okay, so we are finished with the bacon and I'm just gonna blase blase, put them on here half acidly. <laughs> This looks really good. Um, very. Very little in this place. Okay. Let's get it back. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Have your pancake omelet bacon sandwich and cheesy hash browns and two leaves of spinach just because it looked really pretty. And as I'm about to dig in, thank you guys for tuning in to Cooking with Cinna. And I will see you guys later, but until then, make sure you hit that like button. And after you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content.